nearly there. Nearly there. Sometimes you forget who you are. You move afar and you come back. Around and you orbit microcosm and macrocosm, the small and large, the first and last, the alpha and the omega, omega, the last. You don't leave them behind. You carry the meek as much as you can. If it's beyond your control, it takes a toll on the mind and you have to unwind and loosen and drink and think and blink and stare into nothing into some foggy abyss, nebula, until it is crystal clear. Until it is crystal clear. Without any fear or tremulous doubt. You find yourself performing and saying, this is my pipe. These are the words I speak. This is the role that I play. And everything seems to fall synchronized into place. And you find your face within every single human sometimes. And then you find your own. You cannot be alone. left stranded destitute completely stripped away humiliated that's what i say and then you say, what did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Okay. All right. And you pick up a hat and become playful. Assume another role. The port of Mars. You look at the stars and say, where are we really from? I know what's here. I know you're near and we're all around every different place. The center is everywhere and I am everywhere. Ah oh, no, do not derive and change it, change it, change it. Automatic, automation, automation, automation. Don't fall into the gibbering kind. You need to ad lib ad nauseum before you find and find and find and say, ah, I thought I saw something there. He nearly had me fooled. And then I was schooled. 
just thinking out loud. The epiphany, the sudden realization that the frustration, the frustration of all of it, the frustration the stimulation the stimulation from everything I thought I heard words, I thought I heard different people talk. I thought I heard different people walk to a rhythm which seemed north, west, here, there, and everywhere, high and low. And then, don't you know, don't you know, sometimes you find your flow your rhythm benevolently sought, caught, and you could say it brought sanity back again. How can you be relatable, universally speaking, to every single individual all at once? You could say it's impossible, subtext, subtitles, the untitled, seemingly entitled. You need to be sheltered in order to think of enlightened thoughts, says one, or else you bring destruction. And the only instruction that you can give is to shoot or knife or kill. It's irony how you smile, the reactions that some people make. They smile, they laugh, they take a photograph. How you deal with something forlorn and tragic. It's how you deal with it. You fight against it. Are the minutes seem to walk with me like sonnets? How the seconds seem to beckon to my next, to my next, to my next. I'll just say eso, eso, esoteric, esoteric. To be repetitively like this all the time, it becomes overwhelming for some, but none. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Who knows? So much interrogation into the soul that just wants to sometimes not be alone, but just at peace. Peace of mind, peace of mind. Peace of mind. Around the lotus with a piece of peace. Playing around platitudes and latitudes and longitudes. Sometimes to be nonsensical, nonsensical. Half of what I say has meaning. Now sleep and awake and never forsake your, your, your own self and stutter into the day until you find some other way that liberates and then you know, you say to yourself, I now know 
I now know what this person was talking about, this human being was talking about. Why he walked around, why he said what he said, why he did what he did, why he stayed here. Pose, of course, self-love, self-admiration. Love yourself before you love another, they say. I say, do both. Untie the knot and then tie it again. Defy all of the predictable thoughts in the most eloquent, calm way. You didn't see me coming. You didn't see me coming. You didn't see me coming. Or did they? Did you?